Today we are talking about what is the best cycle. No, pump your brakes, do not hit the gas. It is not Trembolone as TikTok and all these short form content creators with the curly hair are gonna tell you. It is not Trembolone as a first cycle. Now in this video, I wanted to give my opinion. I've done numerous videos of this in the past of what I believe a true beginner, the first anabolic, the first steroid cycle, which someone would see results, see progress, strength gains, muscle gain, drop in fat, everything someone wants to see out of a cycle while still being healthy and setting yourself up for success later on down the road. Now that we have that out of the way, I am not a doctor. Do not do anything without your doctor's supervision. This video is all for informational and educational purposes only, so only use it as such. So first, let's start with what cycles you wouldn't want to do. And that, for instance, is what we brought up with Trenbolone. And of course, as soon as I bring it up, Barry comes into frame. So why would you not want to start with these crazy compounds right off the bat? You know, you see a bunch of competitors, IFBB pros, the strongest men in the world are taking these compounds. So why would someone not want to do it as a first cycle? Just get right to it. The main reason being is everyone's always going to talk about all the benefits, all the amazing things that happen to them, but they're never going to talk about the side effects or the bad. And then along with not talking about the bad, all the potential side effects that can come along with a lot of these compounds like Trenbolone, Winstraw, Masteron, even testosterone for that manner if run at high dosages. They all come with side effects and none of them are going to come side effect free. Even if you jump into the realm of SARMs or prohormones, those are still going to have side effects. But another reason on top of the side effects is if you start with these big compounds, you're setting yourself up for failure later on down the road because you're going to have nothing gradually after that first cycle to then progress and progress and progress throughout the entirety of, you know, either your bodybuilding, your CrossFit, although I hope you're not doing CrossFit, your strongman, your powerlifting career, whatever you choose or route you want to go down, which I'd say is the only reason someone should really dabble into the anabolic world, because I guess we should also touch on it while I'm here, is stay natural as long as you possibly can. This is coming from the advice of someone who has taken something. I have not taken things for years. I've only been on TRT for a couple of years, but stay natural as long as you possibly can. Push yourself as far as you can, because I know majority of people who are going to take these first cycles, a lot of them, their goal isn't to be an IFB be pro or step on stage, which would be the, one of the main reasons why you'd ever want to take compounds or be the strongest man in the world. If one of your goals isn't something along those lines where you're going to have to be competitive with other people doing it, stay natural. If your goal is to look good with your shirt off at a beach, you can do that naturally. If your goal is you just want to compete in the NPC and maybe not go for a pro card, you can do that naturally. If you just want to get shredded for a photo shoot or you know all these minor goals that a lot of people set, a lot of the, the individuals think that they need these hardcore cycles in order to attain it and no, a lot of people just don't know what a good diet is. They don't know their training regimen. They just have a lack of knowledge essentially all around and they think that steroids or anabolics or peptides, all of these things under the sun are gonna give them the answer. You know, maybe your goal though, for whatever reason is to be an IFBB pro. You wanna be broke your entire life because let's be honest, bodybuilders don't make any type of money, which is why I got away from that industry and went more towards the business route. But the best first cycle is going to be very, very simple testosterone and not run at some crazy gram like a lot of people on TikTok and all these social media platforms are saying or even the 500 milligram which is very popular per week we are going to go testosterone cypionate or enanthate which is your longer esters just to avoid pinning as frequently because this is a beginner cycle around 300 milligrams per week and it'd be best to probably split up that into two injections for the week just so you have more stable blood levels but 300 milligrams i guarantee if you were going from being natural never touching SARMs, never touching pro hormones never touching anything anabolic you you are going to make results in progress because no one naturally is going to be producing those levels. I guarantee it, you're going to have muscle gain, you're going to have strength gain, you're going to have everything you'd want out of a cycle while setting yourself up for success later on down the road. Because as I mentioned, if you jump immediately to Trembolone or Winstraw, yeah, you're going to have results, but you're going to have a lot of side effects and you could have probably made just as much results off of a very basic testosterone only cycle at low dosage and not had nearly the side effects. And then it also sets you up for later on down the road. If maybe you want to then go for your pro card, you have other stronger things things so your body doesn't plateau or adapt to what you are doing because the body is very smart. That's why people either need to cycle off or increase their dosage. You're really stuck with two things. For the smartest people is you're going to come off and you're going to do your post cycle therapy so then you can start your other cycles. But what a lot of people do is they don't want to come off their cycles so they'll just increase the dosage, increase the dosage. But what happens is you reach a threshold where you're not going to be gaining anymore and you're just gaining more side effects, more side effects, more side effects. So it's not ideal. And as I mentioned, you're still going to make progress and results. I guarantee it. 
Mark my words, I would bet my house on it. I made a short video on this. If you do not make progress or results from that cycle, I will give you this house I currently sit in. Mark my words. I would bet anything on it that if someone's going from a true natural to a 300 milligram of testosterone per week, I guarantee they're making results. I guarantee it. Now that is if you're getting it from a reputable source. Of course, I know there's a lot of bunk gear and there's a lot of bunk things out there, but if you're getting a legit testosterone base of either the NNFate, the Cypionate, you could do like Propionate or these other esters, but you're gonna be penny more frequently. And that also jumps into the reasoning of if you are someone who has a phobia of needles, you hate needles, you can never imagine sticking yourself with a needle every week, if not twice a week, you don't have a girlfriend, your mom, your grandma, someone to inject you as well, then you could always go the pro-hormone or the SARMs route. I'm not big on pro-hormones anymore. They come with side effects. There's not a ton of results. And SARMs, in my opinion, for lab rats and everyone out there is just a better option. More results, more studies, less side effects, just all around better in my opinion. I don't think pro-hormones actually beats out SARMs in any realm of any type of debate, but that's just my opinion and based on the studies and research that I've done. So that would be, I guess, essentially an oral only cycle if people wanted to dabble into that maybe before the route of the injections because of phobia or whatever you have going on. But I'll say it again, testosterone only, 300 milligrams per week, and then Thate or Cypionate, guaranteed to make results. Do not do what a lot of these TikTokers are doing a gram of trend and a gram of test and all these crazy stuff when they're like 16, 17, 18 years old and they haven't even hardly been in the gym. They don't know their diet, their training or anything. They don't even know what they're putting in their body. They haven't done a lick of research of what Trembolone is, what side effects come along with it, how it's made, what it's made for, clinical study. They haven't looked up anything, I guarantee it. But my main advice before any cycle related, stay natural. Seriously, stay natural as long as you possibly can, unless your goals whatever you're trying to achieve kind of require it essentially because of the competition or who you're going to be going up against because let's be honest if you're natural and you're going for your pro card in classic physique or men's open bodybuilding 99.9 percent .9 of the competition is going to be on stuff so you're at a severe disadvantage unless you have the greatest genetics of all time which you probably don't if you're watching this video it's just it is what it is you know sometimes you just have to accept life for what it is i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to share the video if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new you have anything you want to say barry well, me and Barry signing out. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.